Hello everybody. I'm here with the thrift haul. So let me tell you something first. Yesterday I was watching my girl, one of my favorite YouTubers, Dark Darkberry32. I've been watching her for so many years. And I love her and her family. She just recently brought a, her and her husband brought a beautiful home. And she has always thrift, uh, used to thrift, you know, decor for her home. She still does. Decor for her home, beautiful clothes. And this thing popped up in my feed yesterday and it said, good. I think it said Goodwill Thrift Hall or something like that. I hurried up and got my tail over there and watched that video. Her and her daughter, Kayla, clean up. They had some real nice stuff. Real, 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 real nice stuff. So I told her in the comments, I said, um, I'm going tomorrow. I had already planned that I was going to go. And today wasn't the 50% off, but during the week, this thrift store now, they have like different colors, um, different colors that they go by on certain days. So today was the yellow 25% off the tag. Uh, orange was 50% off. The blue was 75% off. Ladies, 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 and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. When you get that stuff for 75% off, it is such a big savings. I got stuff that was a dollar or something, two dollars, three dollars, but a lot of them were a dollar, like dollar and a half, stuff like that. So I got a lot of stuff here. So let me let me start. I'm also gonna show you after I do this haul, I got two things from swap.com. And I have been ordering from them, and I, um, I have gotten some nice things. But here lately, I had to send things back like over and over again. And I'm glad that they take returns, so that's a good thing. So let me get into this haul. So y'all, hope y'all can be able to see this stuff. But I'm on my iPad, and I'll. Because this is a dress, y'all. Okay, on, on on video, it might look like a slip or a house dress, but it's not. It's so cute on, y'all. This is was so cute on. Um, like I said, it might be hard for you to see it. And you know, I don't have, I don't let my arms and shoulders be out and stuff. So I'm gonna wear like a a black t-shirt under this. And the cut of it on the bottom, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's cut really, really cute. This was a dollar and something, y'all. Now, I don't have all the prices, but what I'm going to tell you is all the stuff that I got came to $45, and I got a lot of stuff. So, I got this. Let me take this off and get this stuff ready because I'm going to wash it. This dress is a little bit corny, but I said I can wear it around the house. I can wear it to run out to the store. I think it can be cute, actually. And I think this was a dollar and something, too. I can tell you the brand of that dress. Okay, this here, this dress is made by Jones, New York. You know, that's a decent brand. And I think I can hook this up, y'all. You know, the, the, the print is, is a little old-fashioned now. But y'all, I'm running towards 60, y'all. I'm going to be 56 when my birthday comes in July, so. I am not complaining, y'all, because I didn't think I was going to live this long. I wasn't supposed to live to be 40, okay? So, 
am so excited. When Dark Berry was talking about, you know, showing us, I said, oh my God, I'm glad I'm going tomorrow. But look at that nice stuff. You know, she brings a lot of nice stuff to wear to work. Um, I have seen her wear her thrifted stuff on cruises and everything. She'd be looking nice, okay? Really, really nice. You can, you can get stuff to wear anywhere. If you're trying to um, start a new job or need clothes for the job that you're in, and especially if you work in the office and stuff, you can find some real, real nice stuff, real reasonable. So let me show you the next one. This is so cute to me, y'all. This is so cute. Look at the sleeves. It has a bell sleeve. Pretty spring colors. And it has this, um, I don't know what this is called. It's like a smocking or something like that. Maybe I'm not using the right word. But honey child, let me tell you. I got this specifically for the spring. But I also wear stuff like this during the winter. I put a nice sweater on top of it. You know, like a lot of my, I have a lot of long sleeves, but I have a lot of short sleeves too. And I like to do that. This is so cute, y'all. This is, um, Zach and Rachel woman. And so this was the orange tag, so this was half off. So this was uh, about $3. I should just go on and say $3 because this place charges a little bit of tax on this stuff. I don't know why, but they do. So the next thing. My neighbors are so nosy sometimes. I hear this lady coming down like, is my life that interesting, y'all? Is it? I'm an older woman. I'm going to say is peace, be still back to the clothes, okay? So, <laughs> I got this one. This is a little interesting. Um, you may not be able to see it that well on the video, but it looks expensive and it's an expensive brand. It's CJ Banks. And this was 75% 75, 75 off, y'all. Very reasonable. So someone asked me one time, like, well, why don't you, why don't you just go to like Rainbow and all that stuff and uh, you can get the cheap stuff. Okay. I do shop at Rainbow sometimes, but I like stuff that's going to hold up. And these thrifted clothes will last you a long time. I got stuff that... Sometimes I get a little tired of it, but I say, you know, why throw it away in, in this imperfect condition? So that's why I do shop at Rainbow sometimes and uh, some of the other stores. And I do a lot of um, cell racks, Macy's and stuff like that. But the clothes at the thrift shop, thrift store, they last better and they're better quality clothes and they look expensive. So like I said, this looks may not look expensive on camera, but it, it looks really expensive. And I think this was a dollar and something too. Ah, uh, let me get to this one now. This one here, I can't show you up real close because I actually got some makeup on it when I was trying it on, and I said uh, I can't show that, but. Just something plain to wear. You could wear a skirt with it, jeans. You could wear some shorts in the summer with it. I would like this with some jeans. And so I'm not going to let you see the part with the makeup stain. This was 79, I mean 75% off. So that was really, really cheap. 
and this is made by CJ Banks. I have a lot of their clothes, y'all. CJ Banks. And all you got to do is just wash your stuff up real, real good. I try not to buy a bunch of like dry cleaning only stuff. I don't buy that stuff because I don't want to have to get it dry clean. But you know, if you have a job, um, office job, even though you can wear stuff that doesn't have to be dry clean, but you know, you might want to. And if you, you do, can just get it dry clean but I don't like dry cleaning clothes because I don't want to um, spend all my money like getting stuff dry cleaning. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I found these jeans, y'all. You know, if y'all remember back in the day when I was doing all these hauls, I couldn't find that much pants. I've been finding a lot of jeans here lately. And these are stretch. Um, there's the legs. And this was $7.99, which was, I think it was a dollar or something. It was 75% off. And this is Terra and Sky. And it's a straight leg. And I think the reason why I'm finding all these jeans is because the bigger leg pant jeans and stuff is coming. They're back in style and I think by the fall it's going to really be big. So I'm not wearing no big legs. I, I'm, I was a child in the 70s and 80s and um, the 70s I was wearing them bell bottoms and uh, nope, no more. So, you know, for the young girls, so whoever wants to wear it. But I wore enough of those in the 70s and stuff, and I don't want to wear it anymore. But these are well made now. I don't know, is, is Terra Sky, um, <coughs> excuse me, is that a Walmart brand? I forget who makes it. But it's in, it's in perfect condition. this blouse y'all I told myself last night yeah I'll be talking to myself sometimes I'm like plotting how I'm going to navigate that thrift store y'all and I said I want a lot of blouses so I saw some but I didn't see a whole lot of course I got shirts but this is a nice blouse right here and I think this is a it looks black but I think it's a dark blue back of it and let me see who this is by let me put on my glasses I don't know what this is Attila Femi and Tim you know, it's in cursive and it's where you can't hardly read it. <coughs> but it must be some kind of a, like a designer brand. And it was $6.99. Yellow, I mean, orange tag is 50% off. Yeah, 350 So, you know, we like to go out to dinner and different things and, um, you know, you like to look nice sometimes. A lot of times I go out of my jeans and stuff, but sometimes I want to look, you know, nice. Um, I got that from my mother. She likes to go out looking nice to dinner, to the movies and stuff like that. Ooh. I found another pair of pants, y'all. Another pair of pants. This video is going to be long, y'all. I know I don't usually do long videos and... I don't have time to watch them, but um, I'm not going to make too many more that's long. I just want y'all to see this. So these are nice, thick, heavy black dress pants. And it has like a little boot cut to it. And they're really, really nice. It has a nice fit. They're heavy. Um, they were $7.99 orange tag which is 
basically four dollars and it was studio it's called studio by Tourette. what i didn't know it was Tourette. i have a little story to tell about Tourette. so me and my daughter last week we went to the mall i said let me go on tour it me with me with my cheap self and tour it i went in there y'all and I saw, you know, like plain looking stuff. They were nice, but they weren't nice enough for the prices, you know. The stuff I got here is better than that stuff, but these are from Tourette, and you see, it's basically $4. I paid for it, and this, these are just plain pants, dress pants that won't go out of style. So I got this dress here, and I know this one is old fashioned. I said, I'm gonna hook that up and wear it during the spring and the summer. Let me fix this thing because I got it all twisted around here. I got it all twisted up. So the print is a little old fashioned, but um, it's a plain style and it looks nice on and, uh, I'm getting my old lady chic on y'all no I'm not trying to look young I'm old but I want to look nice for my age so this is age appropriate for me and it's kind of long and I could see this with some, I think I got some brown sandals or either I'm gonna get some white ones to go with this. And this is by what, 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 what? Let's see what this is by. SI Collection, I never heard of that. SI Collection? And it was 75% off. It was $12.99. It was still very cheap for 75% off, y'all. It's long. Let me show you something else that I got here. So you know the last haul that I did and I got that candle, and I said I was inspired by Simply LB, who's my YouTube sister girl. And so I got another one, and it was a uh, 169. It's brand new, and it was 25% off because of the yellow tag. So today they had. Um, they tried to get slick with some of them. Now, some I saw $5. I'm not paying no $5 for a candle in the thrift store. I'm not doing it. But this was a decent price. And some of them were used. Now, I I want it to be new, you know? But it smells good. Let me see what brand this is. size pillar scented candle it's made by Longa Burger Longa Burger okay that sounds a little expensive okay <laughs> expensive this I don't know why I got it but I was drawn to this because I am not a um, a hockey fan but I saw this scarf and I said ah for the winter again I'm gonna rock this thing again like that and this was let me tell you what team this is oh it's in Washington Capitals and it has the Camp Capital Bank um, logo on it and it's nice colors in it. And I usually don't do like team type things. I said this is different and it's really nice. This was $7.99, 75% off because of the blue. 
So let me pause for the calls and get the rest of my stuff together and put them on hangers and I'll be right back. So I am back. So this dress here, I said, Sasha girl, it's a little bit old fashioned, but when I used to see them, these older women with this and a lot of the women from that, Allen's like just print and stuff, it's, it's pretty, I like it. And um, it is supposed to be too big for me. It's a 22, I don't wear no 22. Look at this y'all. One of them spring uh, dresses that you wear with your little sandals and stuff. If I can get it on this hanger the right way, and it's long, and it has the tie in the back. And it fit me like a glove, which is a size 22, so it shouldn't be fitting like that, y'all. And it's made by, let me take it off the hanger so you can see it better. Hopefully, anyway. And I've seen these dresses over the years and stuff. And I like to see, um, you know, people like on vacation in these dresses. It looks so comfortable. And it has the buttons down in the front. And then it stops women. Does it go all the way down the buttons? Oh, I didn't know the buttons go all the way down. I hope they don't come open. So look. This is made by Bentley. I don't know what the Bentley brand is, y'all, but I'm sure it's a nice one. And this was $6.99 and that was 25% off. I got an old fashioned skirt now. These skirts has, have been around, I'm sure since before I was born, because it's a standard style. It's polyester, I know polyester is considered old ladies but uh i'm an old lady so i was wearing these years ago my mother had these and uh she always looked cute in them she just a plain black skirt with the rubber in the waist and it's uh like a straight fit and it comes below a little bit below my knee and this is, let's see if I can see who it's made by. I can't even see who it's made. Oh, it's, I should have known Blair. Y'all know Blair is considered the old lady catalog. Well, I don't care. I got this and I'm going to wear a nice blouse with it. And it was $4.99 and it was 25% off. That. Oh, Lord, I'm making a mess found me I needed a spring jacket y'all I really needed one and so I saw this one today it's a plain dark blue jacket with the hood to it it's really hard kind of hard to show it you see it gathers here and this is the front of it just zips all the way up and down and I thought this was going to be too tight for me. It fit just right. Let me see who this is made by. I don't know what company this is. It just has a butterfly weekend. Oh, Weekenders is what it's called. $7.99, 75% off. This was super cheap. Now, I have been looking around for um, like spring jackets. I just wanted something plain. I couldn't really find them. And the ones like at Macy's and stuff, they was kind of pricey. I think this was $2 or something. Or less. Something like that. So this was a great buy. Of course, it has the pockets. It has a zip pocket here. On the other side, too. So 
That was a good buy there. That was an excellent buy. Can you hear me? I got a, another old lady shirt and I love it. And it's, you know, I like colors. And it's this one. And it has uh, these flowies. They're not really bells. It's kind of like a bell sleeve, but it's like a flowy sleeve. And it has the this stuff here. These bead, this beading up here. And it's really cute. And I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Beautiful colors. And this is made by Apartment Nine. And it was $7.99. 75. 75% off. Okay. So I can wear this with a lot of stuff. My, even that black skirt that I showed you, I could wear this with it. No. Let's see how much more stuff I got left here. I think I'm almost done. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I see another shirt here. This one, with these pretty colors. And I like this um, piping or whatever you wanna call it. That's how it looks around the back. And this is made by Worthington. I have a lot of Worthington clothes. They hold up very well. And it was $5.99 at 75% off. Y'all, you do the math, okay? That's a great buy. And again, something like this is good for all year round because to get cool, I will put a black sweater over it or a pink. What was that? And fell. Really nice. Again, five ninety nine, seventy five percent off. Uh, this dress here, <laughs> uh, I like it. It is a little bit out there, but I can be out there sometimes, you know. It reminds me of the singer Stevie Nicks, okay? So I'm gonna show it to you. It's different now. It has, I don't know if it's called peasant sleeves. But look at the print on the bottom, y'all. That's I like that. I like that. I know some people ain't gonna like this, but I like it. I like stuff that's different. You know, I don't always want to fit into a box, okay? And it's, it's still age appropriate because it's long and it covers. And this is made by Vicky Till. I don't know who you are, Vicky Till, but let me tell you, girl. This dress is, 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 I like it. I like it a lot. And it was $9.99. Uh, orange tag is 50% off. So that is basically $5. Basically $5. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, wait a minute, do I have anything else? Okay. I'm gonna show you, okay, that was it. Let me make sure that's it for my haul. From the thrift store. But I have two items that I got from
I got two items from swap.com. Let me show you this dress. I'll be getting a lot of nice dresses from them. Um, the problem you're going to have with them is they don't have the measurements listed. And thread up, they do. And sometimes it's hard to judge how stuff is going to fit. So this dress fit me nice, but under this um, arms, it's not fit me well. And it's like gapping, so I have to have that fixed. And it's this dress here. And this is a plain dress, you know. You can wear this year after year. And I'm gonna wear like a, some kind of a blazer or a little jacket with it. See how big the arms are? And so I'm gonna try to fix it myself by hand. My sewing machine I had since I was 16 and it's, it's broken. I want to get it fixed. I'm not a great sewer. <laughs> I'm not a seamstress. But um, if I can do it by hand, I'm going to have it taken in. And I hate to do that because um, tailoring is, is pretty expensive around here. But it was nice. Uh, this is made by San Sandra Darren. I don't know the brand, but I'm sure it's a nice one. And I think I paid $8 or $9 for this. It's really nice. That's another thing I want to add about the thrift store. You can find stuff to wear to a wedding. I saw stuff today and I should have gotten it because you know when something comes up and then you start looking for stuff and um when you're looking for it, like fancy clothes, it's hard to find. I see it every time I go there because people wear something they don't want to keep being seen in it, so they get rid of it. Got some nice dressy clothes there. So let me see. I got a shirt from Swap. I actually need to send this back because it was looking like I was about to fly away in it. But I said if I keep it or it I'm gonna ask my sister how it looks on me um, if not then I may just wear like a white sweater over it like in the winter and stuff let me stop blabbing my mouth and show it to you I think this is was so cute but um it looked a little different on this where's the front and where's the back is that the oh this is the back and I don't even see the brand. What brand is this? Does somebody make it themselves? But it's a shirt here. And that's the sleeves. And let me show you down at the front of it. Isn't that cute, y'all? It's really cute. I think it would look better if it was taken in a bit. And I don't want to spend that money, but if I have to, I will. But it's really nice. It's different. It is different. And that's the back of it there. And how much I pay for this? I don't know if it was $7. Excuse me. You will notice on Swap that Sometime this stuff is on sale and then after the sale they hype the price back up way up and I usually wait and then if nobody gets it when the sale come back on I get stuff. I save it like to my wish list. And that is really cute. So that is it. I got I kinda wish I didn't order this stuff now. I got three things coming from this site it was my first time ordering stuff looks like it's really cute but um the stuff was good prices but i wish i had just taken that money and brought more stuff at the thrift store you 
I want to say something. I don't know why I'm getting on this subject. I have gotten on this subject before. Um, if you're not monetized on YouTube, you know, if that's what you want to do, get monetized. You know, work up your, get your numbers and stuff and get monetized. It's, it's nice to have it, but um, my friend told me a long time ago, and I'm going to tell you, you don't have to be monetized on YouTube to make money. If you're prop, if you are a person like me who have been sick most of their life, and you know a lot of us, you want to go back to work and stuff, and um, you know sometimes at one time. Going to the doctor was like my job, and I still go a lot. But back then, maybe four times a week, I was at the doctor's office, some kind of doctor, and I got really tired. And I came to YouTube. I told y'all the story. My father had died in 2010, and I didn't even know much about YouTube. And my daughter was at my mother's house and I said, oh, you, what is YouTube? And she explained to me and she helped me set up my page and everything. And I was starting to watch other people and enjoying YouTube. YouTube was better back then because of the real stories. So let me get to the point. So years, I say about a year or two before my father passed away, he told me, he said, um, if you want to, you know, my father could be, you know, kind of mean sometimes, but he was really talking to me from the heart. And he said, if you really want to do something with your life, he said, do it, do it in secret. Don't tell people your business. He said, work in silence. He said, that way, if it doesn't work out, he said, nobody don't know your business. And if you tell them you're doing something, they're going to say, Oh, it's not going to work. You know, like like they have the whole um, blueprint of your life, you know. So maybe things are not the way you want it to be right now. I have been sick and disabled for a long time. Um, like I said, I still go to the doctors and stuff. So I really wanted a job outside. But I'm so busy with my appointments. I'd be sick a lot. So the, the best thing that could have happened, happened through YouTube. And I'm going to get back to what I was saying about um, monetization and stuff. It can be nice. But I really don't make that much from it. I only make what, $100 every three months or one something, something like that. Just going to tell you the truth. And if you make, um, if you have a popular channel you can make money but honestly if you look at some of these people's stats and stuff for the amount of views and subscribers they actually should be making more you know the people that's real real big they're making a whole lot of money but youtube can cut you off whenever they want to now when i came i started youtube in 2012 and uh, at that time, they had like a, like just about anybody could get monetized. I got this stuff in my hair. They could get monetized. So I was monetized for about, I want to say, I'm not sure, but I think two or three years, right? So they came up with that new rule about the, um, 4,000 watch hours or something like that, 1,000 1, subscribers. For some reason, they found a way to kick me off my monetization. So that's when my friend said, you don't, you, you can make money without being monetized. And she was telling the truth, y'all. She was telling the truth. Work in silence. Well, tell everybody your business, even your best friends, because they're going to want to know your business. 
like somebody wanted to know mine, and I didn't tell her, and you work on yourself, working in secret and in private. You build yourself up. You build up your channel the way you want it to be. But let me tell you, honey, those opportunities that I be getting is outside of YouTube. Now, I think YouTube helps a little bit. I do some other things, too. That may help, too. But you might want to, even if you get monetized, do some things off YouTube because they can kick you off the uh, platform at any time. And the money is not real big unless you really, really get big up here. There are some big YouTubers that's not making what they deserve, honestly. You know, if you have uh, 200,000 subscribers and um, as many views as they got, they like got millions and millions and millions of views and they're still not making what um, they should. Like some are making like a thousand a month and stuff like that. And not for all, for that big um, audience, you should be making more than that. It's a, it's a nice amount of money now. But if you real, real big, you should be making a lot more than that. So, and they also have sponsorships too. But you don't have to be real big to get a sponsorship. I'm here to tell you. And, um, you know, work on yourself. If it's something you want to do, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. If it's not costing them no money, and, and a lot of this stuff is not going to cost you a lot of money because it didn't. I, I have spent money on my channel, um, like cameras and stuff, but most of my cameras are used. I went to eBay. I have maybe three that's new, and they're not even my favorites. I use them. Um, Use cameras to death. If you don't have the perfect e equipment, get up here and do you. Use it to the best of your ability. Ask God to bless your hands and he will. He will bless your hands. If it's your desire to have a business, have a job that you can do at home, because like I said, I'm too sick to hold a job outside of my home because I'm um, running with the doctors now with this YouTube thing and my sponsorships and stuff I just take my little tablet to the doctor or my um, iPad most of the time it's my cheap um, tablet I take that with me to the doctor while I'm sitting and waiting because it's a long wait I just be doing my little work and I work on my own schedule unless something comes up that's pressing now I had some things to come up that was kind of pressing here lately that I had to get out I'm not making a whole lot of money but just because I'm not making a lot of money doesn't mean that you can't you can make a lot of money up here and you can make it off YouTube. You can use YouTube as a way to promote yourself. Get on some of these other platforms and promote yourself. And um, include stuff in your content that you can market like um, products and stuff like that because I started as like a cheap a cheap product reviewer. I was just reviewing stuff at my house, the stuff I buy, stuff like that. And then I say about the second, either the first or second year on YouTube, people started contacting me with stuff. And uh, you can do it. You can do anything you want to do. Don't let nobody stop you. These naysayers as negative and, you know, even family can be negative sometimes, you know. So work on yourself in secret and be whatever you want to be. Just keep a positive um, image, you know, on social media. 
and it'll, it'll make it easier for you to do other things off YouTube. Okay. I just want to encourage you because I'm old, I'm plus size, and disabled, you know. And then some people say, uh, people had the audacity to say, you don't look disabled. You haven't seen me sick. You haven't seen me um, sick on my bed most of the day. You haven't seen me cry. You haven't seen me be stressed out by going to these doctors and stuff all the time. You don't know my life, so you can't judge my life. You can't judge anybody's life. No. But I know one thing. God is a restorer. This thing with the thrift shops, and, and I, I'm going to ask some of you ladies because it's my testimony, and I'm going to, I think, some other ladies, because I'm noticing some things. Thrift store is their testimony, too. Y'all saw my video years ago about me being homeless with a one and a half one and a half year old because of domestic violence right when i got my apartment and stuff i did not have any clothes y'all and i started going to school i did not have no clothes y'all and people looked down on me, made fun and snickered and all that kind of stuff. And it went on for a very long time. So I started going to, well, we have always thrifted some, but um, back in the day, you didn't find as much nice stuff. And then Unique Thrift Store opened up, y'all. And it's been on ever since. So if you have a unique thrift store or Goodwill, Goodwill sometimes have nice stuff too. Go and see what they have. And if you low on money, or if you're not, you can save your money, buy you up a lot of nice clothes, and you'll be looking just as good or better than some other people. People around here um, swear I pay a lot of money for my clothes and stuff, you know. Oh, you dress so nice. Like, like they really trying to see how much I pay for my stuff. And sometimes, I'm not ashamed of I tell people, but then some people are so nosy. I'm like, yeah, keep guessing. But if you happen to be watching me and you know me, yeah, my clothes are thrifted. I do the thrift store and I do sale racks. Once in a while, I do rainbow and stuff like that, but... I don't do a whole lot of rainbow and stuff because I don't want my clo I want my clothes to look expensive. And they have some cute stuff. But if you notice now, if you buy all cheap clothes, they don't last long. If you don't get rainbow, you're going to have to mix it in with, you know, some better quality stuff. And at the thrift store, you can get some great quality stuff. Even young ladies, they got some stylish stuff there. You know, you have to look through it but um style of stuff or plain stuff that will make you look nice you know so i'm going to get off here but my i just want to tell you you can do you can do it you can make money without being monetized and just check your emails on gmail and stuff like that they have some scams now but start you know if a company get in touch with you research and see what people are saying about that company because I had some recently tried to get me but I had some good ones come through too okay you can do it you can do anything you want to do don't let these people they they want to throw you in a, a hole in it and uh, tell you what you should be and, and what you're going to do with your life if you want to be a writer a singer or whatever work in secret if somebody find out what you're doing just don't don't dwell on it you still work in secret don't tell them your business god is gonna bless your hands you ask him to bless you if you ask him to get you out of your situation poverty or you can't work or whatever keep praying because that's what i did 
And like I said, I don't make a whole lot of money, but God has blessed me, y'all. He's blessed me. He's going to bless y'all, too. You know. And when I say bless, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be sitting up in the mansion, but you never know. Some of y'all going to be up in the mansion. Y'all going to surprise some of these people that had negative stuff to say about you and giving up on you and stuff. But don't give up on yourself. I don't care what nobody say. As long as you have breath in that body, you know. And if you can't work, have you some hobbies. The hobbies make you feel happy too, okay? I know this is a long video. I don't make long videos, but this one is it's very long. So thank you for watching my uh, thrift haul. Go over to Dartberry32 and check out her thrift haul and her channel. And she's a great mom. She really is. And I, I've been enjoying her for so long. Okay, y'all. I done rambled enough. I will talk to you again soon.